Okay, let's get to the buzz today. A woman in New York turned 107 years old yesterday, and her secret to a long life might just surprise you. Thea Davidson joins us now with the buzz. Oh, well, having a lot of long livers in my family, this one, yeah maybe kind of surprises and it maybe does and while 100 people attended a very special party to celebrate Louise Signor's birthday she says she has maintained a healthy diet all her life and continues to exercise including dancing but she also said something about longevity that might surprise some folks she says her secret she never got married and it looks like longevity runs in her family Signor's sister is 102 no word on whether her sister ever got married now, I had uh, a great aunt who was uh, almost 105. She, oh, wow. she died just three months shy of that. My grandmother was 97. My grandmother married. My aunt, she married, but she divorced. So, so I maybe know. it goes either way. Like, <laughs> yeah. There are, doesn't it seem like there are studies out there that you just hear about that, for, say, if you're married or in a relationship, right. those people do live longer, but yeah. who, there's the other, men do. There's other, yeah, they probably do. <laughs> there's other do. factors that have played into yeah. it, of course. But that's, but, I mean, that's awesome. Good I'm for her. Good Thank for her. Having children will actually help you live mm -hmm. longer, too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. You have to kind yeah. of take the, the good with the bad with that one. Well, a bill has been introduced in the Senate that looks to fight social media addiction. Missouri Republican Josh Hawley introduced the legislation titled the Social Media Addiction Reduction Technology Act. That's a long one. <laughs> this happened on Tuesday. Now, the bill would ban certain practices frequently used by top social networking sites to keep users engaged, like YouTube's autoplay or Snapchat's snap streaks. The bill gives social media companies three months to end the practices. It would also require the creation of features that would allow users to set time limits. The measure joins a long list of bills introduced by Hawley in recent months targeting Silicon Valley. Mm. What do you think of that? Are you addicted to your phones? Yes. Oh my gosh. Probably yes. so. I mean, you know, you'll uh, you'll be sitting there looking at Instagram and mm -hmm. you just realize the time that's passed, but I don't get bored. I'm just constantly entertained by it, which is right. not good. Yeah. Like and, it's truly shocking if you yeah. because there are certain apps that you can do that will tell you at the end of the day how much time you actually mm -hmm. spend on these social media apps. Mm -hmm. And it is shocking yeah, when you realize shocking. how long you've been on there. But they say that with children that we have to limit that because mm -hmm. it, there's cer certain correlations between that and depression and anxiety. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you have got a youngster and under, you know, I guess the age of 18, you might want to try right. to limit that. You just need to give your brain a break, you know, yeah. allow your brain to just have yeah. to use your imagination or be bored for a minute and, yeah. and, and be creative instead, yeah. of, you know, instead of just yeah. constantly being fed. Focus on actual life that's happening in front of you. Yes. And well, not I know. Life but on your so much easier right. said than done. I know. <laughs> because I know. real life is real. All right, here's this last one. This story comes right from our own backyard. Getting the jump on Asian carp. That's how the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources describes an operation carried out Tuesday at Barkley Dam. The department used electro fishing equipment to stun ooh, and collect the fish for a population sampling study. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that does the, not even look real. It really doesn't. The stunning only lasted though a few minutes. Then the fish were released back into the water. Asian carp are considered an evasive species and the department is partnering with federal officials to combat the problem. They are set to install a bioacoustic fish fence in an effort to keep Asian carp out of sensitive waterways, especially Lake Barkley. The fish fence uses underwater speakers and lights to, to, to deter the carp from getting too close to the dam. Wow, wow. There's so many fish. Yes. You ever heard of, okay. The movie, of course, Rush Hour. Yes. Rush Hour 2 okay. and Rush Hour yeah. 3. Okay, uh -huh. at the end of Rush Hour 2 and into Rush Hour 3, Chris Tucker talks about gefilte fish. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. I don't remember that. Do you know what gefilte fish are? I've heard of it. No. Now I'm scared. <laughs> no, it's actually ground up like carp or white fish or pike oh. or something like that. There yeah, you go. So that's there they the are. fish. Yeah. The fish. So there you go. Mm -hmm. That's your little trivia for the day, and that's today's buzz. Do you think? Stick around. More track and weather coming up next on LEX 18 News at 4.